I'll be right back. I gotta go fill my, well, I gotta throw my trash away. I gotta go get me a, a thermos of coffee. And then, when we get back, I gotta get ready for fuel. Then, we're on our way to go pick up our load. We're not far. It is going to Ohio. Wintersville, I think. Wintersville, Ohio. But we are, oh, what is, 78 I think. We're on 78, just south of Memphis, at a Love's. We pulled in here after we made our delivery. We got our trailer washed already, so we don't have to mess with that. All we gotta do is fill up the reefer and go. I'm going to fill up my thermos and I got to get some cream. I'm out of cream. Now guys, this is going to be a night drive. But I'll show you as much as I can. Absolutely will. The whole thing won't be a night drive. Part of it will be uh, tomorrow. Get some cream for our coffee. I guess I should get a jug of water too. Right there. Well, we can go this way. Go down here. Less crowded. Less crowded. You waiting to get up there? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought he was waiting. I got coffee, water, and this cream right here. Figure you're less busy here than up there. <laughs> she busy up there. All right. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. You have a good night. You too. All right. Watch out guys, I'm coming, watch out. 
flutters for them, mainly. All right, let me put the water back here. Put my coffee back here. Throw my cream back there on the bed. All right. Now we get ready to go to the fuel pump. All right. We're gonna pull up here. We gotta get reefer fuel. I don't need truck fuel. I got plenty of that, but I gotta get some reefer fuel. It's ice cream. I do believe that I'm picking up, so it's gonna be a very cold reefer run. So that means it's going to take more fuel. So we want to make sure we got a full tank. Don't have to worry about washing out our our trailer because uh, we already did that this morning. I wish it was sunny. I'd wash my truck and I'd pay for it because uh, I only allow two washers. I mean with RST so obvi obviously I would have paid for it I like a good clean shiny truck but it's raining it's keeping me from doing that I just need reefer fuel take my phone so I know what the uh okay you guys set Eddie's gonna put some reefer fuel in it gotta get some reefer fuel buddy buddy there we go yeah there we go look out grab my gloves <sighs> All right. Anyway, I'm breaking that slump, buddy. Yeah, see, I'm almost down to a half a tank, so.
Those are too much. They're small tanks. It's only a 25 gallon tank. This was the closest truck stop. I was only 36 miles to my pickup this morning, but it was way too early. <laughs> we got some more sleep. I feel good. says I needed one of these lights. I got one, see? <laughs> That's how you can see me if I'm in the truck at night doing a selfie. Somebody already took that quick too. Somebody had already took that spot. Don't take long. for this light well they're not really busy right or the highway is not busy but around my truck you might just be on video maybe somebody might know who you are like maybe a relative or something and maybe they'll jump on you for driving so stupidly I mean I don't know purposely turn on the camera just for drivers that are driving crazy but the camera happens to be on and I catch it well you know you're gonna be on YouTube And Jake is going to blow the horn at you. <laughs> In 800 feet, take the entrance to the right on I-240 West I-240 East. And then go straight at 210 feet. All right, Kurt, you're going to let me over. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you, buddy.
it's uh, or it looks like it could get dark any minute, but truck that yellow pickup truck right there it's probably a 73 model and it's got a bench seat and a full eight foot uh, bed it doesn't have that that super cab or whatever you call it I hate them to me that's not a pickup truck that's just you remember the El Camino back in the day it was a car but they put a bed on the back now I thought that was cool, but when they came out with the pickup truck with the back seat, I, you know, that just, in my opinion, <laughs> that just, uh, that's not a true pickup, but that's a true pickup truck right there. And they don't make that pickup anymore, but that's a, that's a real pickup truck. a prime trailer there so that might be it speed limit change possible ahead approaching destination at 500 feet on the left side United States code storage and Unilever. Man, it's been a long time since I picked up that Unilever. Anyway, guys, I have to be right back. Okay. What he told me to do, not this first row, but this second row, drop it. I gotta fill out that paper, then I gotta go to receipt or uh, shipping. <coughs> 
give them just paper. I think this is a dropping hook.
somebody asked me what that was, that's me lowering my earbags so I can come out from underneath. Hey, that way you don't you don't hear no that yard dog coming in here or what? Don't want to get in his way. Moving them prime trailers around. All right, now we got to go up. Talk to the shipping, receiving, shipping. I thought I was going to be a live load. I guess I'm not. be on the other side is well, it's probably right here all right well we're gonna back in walk in turn off my light back here I'm right just just barely off the 34 well, we don't really know but anyway we're gonna put our info in and then get on the road so we'll be right back folks <laughs> 